hello you're welcome how to solve for hex in this nice math problem from what is given here we can square both sides and we have square root of x then inside that we have square root of 2x then also we have square root of 3x then all square here which is equals to 12 square on this side then from here the square we cancel the square roots then we are left with x multiplied by square root of 2x then times square root of 3x then from here let's still leave this as 12 squared from here our next step also from here we square both sides again that is square this side too then this square will affect x so we have x square then it will affect square root of 2x times square root of 3x as well so here square this then equals to here this power multiplies and we have 2 12 raised to power 4 then also when we solve for the square here we cancel the square roots then we have x square times 2x then times square root of 3x now equals to here we have 12 raised to power 4 the next step as well we square both sides again square everything on this side then also we square this side that is here the square will affect each of these terms here if first we have x square then square then times 2x squared then times square root of 3x also we square this here which is now equals to 12 raised to power 8 from here then here this power multiplies we have x raised to the power 4 then times square here affect 2 so we have 2 square then times x square then times here square cancel square roots then we have 3 hex now equals to 12 raised to the power 8 from here and also here 2 square that's 4 so we have x raised to the power 4 times 4 then times x square times 3x then equals to 12 raised to power 8 from here and also here we can separate the numbers and bring in the x together so here let's write 4 times 3 then times x raised to power 4 times x square then times x then equals to 12 raised to power 8. That is here 4 times 3, that's 12. Then times x raised to power. From the law of indices, this is raised to power 1. And this becomes 4 plus 2 plus 1. Then equals to 12 raised to power 8. That is from here we have this to become 12 times x raised to power 7 here now equals to 12 raised to power 8 then from here we divide both sides by 12 and then here we have divide by 12 then these 12 cancel each other then we have x raised to power 7 equals to 12 raised to power 8 over 12 and here this 12 raised to the power 1 from when we have a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n which can be written as a raised to the power m minus n that is here we have x raised to the power 7 now equals to 12 raised to the power 8 minus 1 which implies we have x raised to the power 7 equals to 12 raised to the power 7 then here we take the 
you know, raise both sides to 1 over 7. So we have x raised to the power 7 times 1 over 7. That equals to 12 raised to the power 7 times 1 over 7. Such that here, yeah, this cancel each other. And we have x here equals to 12. So, and from what we are given, we can check in order to confirm if this solution satisfies the given problem. Let's substitute x equals to 12 into what we have. Then, yeah, this becomes square root of 12. Then, also square root of 2 times 12. Then, square root of 3 times 12. Then, yeah, with this be equals to 12. Then, when we solve from inside here, 3 times 12, that's 36. So, we have square root of 12, then square root of, here as well, 2 times 12, that's 24. Then, square root of 36 here. Is this equals to 12 from here? Then root 36 here, that's 6. So we have square root of 12, then square root of 24, then times 6 now. With this be equals to 12. Then here we have 24 times 6, that's 144. So we have square root of 12, then square root of 144. Is it equals to 12 from here? Then here root 144, that's 12. So we have square root of 12 times 12 is equal to 12. And of course, here this is 12, which is equal to 12. So left hand side equals to right hand side. And hence from here, it is true that the value of x is equal to 12 here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up. See you next class and bye for now.